Hello? My lovely dreamers. Welcome back. Or welcome. If you are new here. To my channel. I am Christina. And this is Old School. The legend that 
is now on foot. But also the part of um, the part of her as a non-legendary figure, and I will let you decide for yourselves if she was a monster or if she was a victim. Remember that those were difficult and very violent times. So on the 29th of December 1610, the soldiers enter in Erzbet's Bathory Castle and they arrest her accusing her of killing more than 650 young women the story goes like this that where she was found and arrested in her uh, vault in the vault of the castle they found a body and a young servant uh, brutally beaten but still alive brutally beaten and tortured but still alive um, she was considered to be as beautiful as the devil, as cold as ice. She was born in 1560 and spent her childhood in Exit Castle in Hungary. She was very educated, very smart, and she could speak Latin, German, Greek. When she was only 10 years old, she was engaged with Feren Nadasti. It was more than sure a political arrangement and in 1575 they get married the wedding was of course a fairy tale one Elizabeth moves to Natashti in his castle where she spends most of her time alone because Ferenc was back then studying in Vienna. Ferenc was also known as the Black Knight and was um, at war most of Which is not mentioned in any of the crimes. 
chronicles of that time. It is believed that the girl was given in secret to a family to be raised, but it was also believed that Ferenc arranged, secretly arranged the, the baby to be killed. So there were those times were extremely cruel and violent times. Erzbet, after giving birth to that baby girl and getting married, Erzbet um, didn't become a mother again very soon because as I have told you her husband was away most of the time first uh, completing his studies in Vienna and then uh, taking part in um, uh, tourneys and going to war she becomes, be, became a mother again after 10 years and in um, 1585 the first child of the couple is born and it is, uh, it was a girl uh, named Anna she will um, she would give birth birth to another four children or Solia in 
scissors, knives and needles I won't go into details but you can imagine what she did with those things if these things are true she also liked to starve her servants for weeks um, she, and she didn't um, give them water when they couldn't resist she, they forced them to eat their own flesh uh, during winter Freezing cold to freeze, and um, in summer she poured honey and she made them stay outside so that the insects would attack them. As I have told you, long. said that she used to bath herself in um, maiden's blood so it is not known how much is um, real how much truth is in this legend um, it said that she was obsessed by being forever young while a servant was brushing her beautiful long hair she accidentally pulled her hair a little bit too much very angry the countess slapped her very stronger strongly and um, blood went on the countess hand but oh, thought that that drop of blood had uh, had made her skin become younger Who went missing, but but 
when um, she finished with the young uh, peasants in her village she started to invite to her a castle some um, noble women and then uh, the rumors started to um, go further and this way in 1610 um, King Matthias sends Georgi to Tzu to investigate what was going on between 1610 and 1611 Tzu, I'm sorry if I mispronounce that gathers over 300 um, witnesses who accused the Countess of horrifying, uh, cruel facts. There were about 650 victims, young peasants, servants in the castle, as well as a noble a women who had been sent to her castle to, um, to be educated by an uh, Irish pet. There were also witnesses who claimed that they um, caught the Countess. They saw the Countess while she was torturing some young servants and then killing them. She was also accused of satanic rituals and witchcraft. So, in 1610, Elizabeth is arrested with four of her servants and um, she should have been um, judged but Elizabeth was from a very noble and influent family a very powerful family and this way so she was locked in her own castle and some sources said that she was locked in one room
farmers and the peasants uh, riots determined an old man to move her body to exit in uh, um, the family's uh, crypt, in the battery family's crypt. And still, how much is fiction and how much is reality in this story? Was Elizabeth Bathory indeed one of the most cruel serial killers in history if we believe the chronicles and some sources we tend to think that vanity and the wish of being forever young and beautiful made her bath in the blood of young uh, maidens. But what we really know is that Ashbet, as I have told you, was an extremely smart and educated woman very intelligent and having excellent um, leader, leading skills. Ferenc, her husband, spent most of his life uh, being at war and Elizabeth was in charge of taking care of everything in his absence. We're talking about thousands of servants, thousands of peasants. In this situation, the Countess was forced to be as tough as a man. Maybe she preferred to be a cruel leader? Uh, in order to avoid being just considered a weak woman and let the others take advantage of this? But how about the legend of the 650 bodies. You remember that Matthias, the king, sent Georgi Turzo, or Turzo to get evidence. And I tend to believe that he fabricated most of the rumors about Erzbeth Bathory that he is the author of the monster Erzbeth. What were the reasons? So, as soon as her husband had died, became the wealthiest widow in Hungary and her cousin cousin Kapoor Bathory wanted the throne, wanted to become a king a marriage between the two of them would have had a huge impact so, the king decided to act and find a way to get rid of Erzbet. It is also said that the king himself 
owned a bet a lot of money and when a noble was condemned to death all everything that that person owned went directly to Thank you very much.